it's a terrible thing that this guy didn't get to live his life and enjoy. And I think that's because of the people around him. And I don't mean just his wife. All the people around him. He made too much money for too many people. And he became too valuable too soon. He had to die. And that's how it works. And that's not nice. That's what I got to say about that. Ever wondered just how much cash Dave, Courtney, and Francis raked in from Nirvana? Given the never-ending drama over royalties, legal battles that broke friendships and family ties, stick around as we delve into their net worth, the money they earned, and the toll it has taken on their tangled relationships. Before we continue, please consider subscribing if you're new here and can you help us reach our goal of 200 likes to push the algorithm. Let's get started. Our first case study is Dave Grohl with the highest net worth of $330 million. His success was built from hard work and determination. He is a singer, songwriter, drummer, director, and much more. He first rose to fame as the drummer of Nirvana and continued finding success with his own band, the Foo Fighters. Along with his musical talent and dedication to the music industry, he has become one of the richest rock musicians of all time. When I think of Nirvana, I think of Nirvana money for a second. It had to be insane. Three guys touring. You didn't really tour that much. But the records, you sold a lot of records. So a lot of records. And I guess there was enough money there that you could have lived the rest of your life. What were you worth? I don't really even remember. $100 million? Oh, no way. $50 million? No, not $25 that much. million. Dollars. Not that much either. $15 million? Maybe. With Nirvana, Girl sold 75 million records worldwide, including 30 million in the United States alone. Switching gears to his own creation, the Foo Fighters, they've accumulated an impressive record of over 30 million albums sold worldwide, even more crucial to Dave Grohl's personal finances. The Foo Fighters have consistently ranked among the highest grossing touring acts globally for over two decades. Reports even suggest that during their touring events, the Foo Fighters have been known to pull in over $1 million per show, with tickets as low as $77 and as high as $400. Grohl also has spent some time making guest appearances for bands like Queens of the Stone Age and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Additionally, he has contributed to many other projects working with music artists such as Tenacious D, Nine Inch Nails, Killing Joke David Bowie and Paul McCartney. Dave Grohl is not exactly known for living a lavish, extravagant lifestyle, although he does have a few indulgences. In fact, he's mentioned that he and his family drive what most would consider a family car a $140,000 Tesla that he states was probably one of the dumbest purchases he has made. What's the worst car you've ever owned? I hate to say it, a Tesla. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, the thing is like, if something goes wrong with a Tesla, it's like trying to repair a satellite. There's just nothing <laughs> you can do. When it comes to Dave Grohl's net worth, it is no surprise that he ranks as one of the wealthiest rock musicians of all time. He is extremely frugal with his money and does not believe in spending extravagant amounts on certain luxuries, which makes him even more likable in the eyes of his fans. It is no secret that Dave and Courtney Love have been fighting for years over Nirvana royalties and their relationship has been very messy and complicated. It's nicer when it's straight because it doesn't make your face look so round. Yeah. All right, ah! uh, uh, yeah. I was on stage. In the decades since Cobain's tragic death in April 1994, Courtney Love has never been shy about her thoughts about Dave Grohl. She even started a rumor about Francis Bean and Grohl dating because of a tweet that she put out into the world. In 2001, Love sued Chris Grohl and Universal Music Group over her desire to have the publishing rights. Love said that she was owed $3.1 million from Universal Music Group because they didn't give her the Nirvana royalties that she deserved. Courtney Love has spoken more about these legal cases than Dave Grohl, but in 2021, Grohl mentioned discussing royalties with his Nirvana bandmates. He told The Hard Times that he, Chris, and Pat Smear frequently debate how to split up the performing rights, publishing rights, and merchandise rights. Grohl even jokily remarked that this ongoing debate is some of the best fighting they've done as a band. 
in 2021, Courtney Love made an Instagram post discussing Nirvana royalties, which she later deleted. In her post, she expressed regret over agreeing to a contract that gave Kurt Cobain's Nirvana bandmates, Chris and Dave, a larger share of Nirvana's royalties, although Love didn't provide specific contract details. According to UltimateGuitar.com, Chris and Grohl received 12.5% of Nirvana's royalties. However, this money is generated from only 11 of Nirvana's songs, and Courtney Love regrets to this day handing over her Nirvana royalties. Now let's talk about her inheritance. Rolling Stone magazine has deemed her the most controversial woman in rock and roll. Right after Kurt Cobain's death, Love initially possessed over 98% of Nirvana's publishing rights. With a net worth of $100 million, her wealth is largely derived from the ownership stake that she inherited following her husband's passing. When Kurt Cobain died, Courtney inherited both his writing and publishing rights, valued at approximately $130 million and $115 million, respectively. Additionally, Courtney also possesses an extensive collection of Kurt's personal belongings, such as guitars, clothing, notes, and various items, which are estimated to be worth over $120 million. This is weird. Kurt killed himself in this coat. Isn't that strange? In 2009, Courtney shocked the media when she claimed that nearly all the money she received from Kurt's estate had been stolen or lost by accountants and bad financial advisors. At the time, she claimed the losses included $30 million in cash and $500 million in real estate. Love and Cobain bought a Seattle home for $1.48 million in 1994 after selling it for $2.89 million in 1997. Courtney wasn't the only one to make money off of Nirvana. Her mother, Linda, is a psychotherapist and author. She made a book called Her Mother's Daughter, a memoir of the mother I never knew and of my daughter, Courtney Love, and her father, Hank, also published Love Kills, the assassination of Kurt Cobain, which aims to prove that Courtney was involved in Cobain's death in 2006, MTV reported that Larry Mestel of Primary Wave Publishing bought 25% for over $50 million of love share of these publishing rights. Mestel owned more of the publishing rights than Nirvana band members Dave Grohl and Chris had. In 2012, The Guardian reported that Love was given $2.75 million from Francis Bean Cobain's trust fund. This loan was given on one condition. Love wouldn't have the rights to Cobain's image unless she was able to repay the money. It's very important to note that Courtney Love has always struggled to get along with her daughter, which brings us to our next point. Kurt's daughter's first name was inspired by Vaseline's guitarist Francis McKee, and her middle name came from the fact that her father thought she resembled a kidney bean on the ultrasound, when their daughter turned 18, she replaced Courtney as the primary beneficiary of Kurt's estate, which ultimately could be as much as $200 million today. Frances has full control over 100% of her father's publicity rights, including his name and image. On her 18th birthday in 2010, she inherited 37% of Kurt's estate. When Frances turned 30, she had a substantial $200 million waiting for her. In addition to her inheritance, Frances has made her mark in few fields. She has worked as a model appearing in the pages of Ellen Harper's Bazaar. She also appeared in Nirvana's 1993 Sliver music video as an infant, and she produced the 2015 documentary Cobain Montage of Heck, which earned her a Primetime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Documentary or Nonfiction Special. Frances reportedly turned down the starring role in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland to focus on her education at Bard College. And in 2017, she became the face of the spring summer campaign for Marc Jacobs. As part of her divorce proceedings in 2017 with musician Isaiah Silva, we learned quite a bit about Frances' financial status. According to documents filed by her legal team, her estimated worth at that time was $11.2 million. It's important to note that this figure doesn't represent her final net worth, but rather the amount she had inherited from the Nirvana estate up to that point. On October 7, 2023, Frances married Riley Hawk, the son of skateboarder Tony Hawk. They began dating in January 2021. The marriage was officiated by her godfather, Michael Stipe, what are your thoughts on this match made in heaven? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss our next video.